let us uh, begin. I hope my instruction about if you have trouble being in sync, I said is clear. If uh, what I said is not clear, please ask now. Uh, I was clear, Jay. I got it what you are trying to say. Thank you. Thank you. Any comfortable seated posture? I softly closed. How great it is to be here and now. There are so many things in our life has to align very well. For us to be here now. For the practice. I consider it is my fortune to be here and now to be with you. And take this breath. I wouldn't want to take this for granted. Just this breath. We take so much for granted. To appreciate the very fundamental aspect of our life, the breath. It's a great place to start a Hatha Yoga session. As you pay attention to your breath, maybe you can tune into your heart. You might feel the vibrations, the rhythm of your heart might be able to. To pay attention, you might be able to see the rhythmic vibrations, the body, the whole body, especially the chest around the middle of the chest. You can feel. And if you're not able to tune in, then that's okay. And if you're able to or not, saying thanks to the heart. The heart starts just few weeks in mother's womb and goes on tirelessly. Till the very end. No weekends, <laughs> no breaks, no vacations.
palms to the heart center. Namaskar, Mudra. Tilting your head forward, gently open your eyes. Inhaling, arms by the side, palms going up. Look. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. One last one. Inhale. Exhaling. Release. I see a few more have joined. Are there any questions before we begin? We're going to warm up. We'll do 12 rounds of Surya Namaskara today. And then we will do a few more, most likely seated postures. Namaste Jay, I have one question. Yes. One of my well wisher from Juniper, he just yes. asked this question that some few people who got vaccinated recently yes. and they doing some uh, rigorous exercises and yes. they got a heart attack. Oh. Doing this 24 sets of Surya Namaskara, is it in permissible range for people who have gone through vaccination in the recent one week, two week, or such people should, should avoid? Uh, I would avoid it if you are um, you're still up. See, at least for me, <clears throat> I took the vaccination the very next day. Um, I was not well, and so I was just resting. Yeah. And then the day after, I was okay. And so if you are in the period, or for some people it might take longer, for some people there may not be any symptoms at all. But if you are tired from the vaccination or if there is fever, please avoid. On the other hand, if you took the vaccination a week or two earlier and if you're normal, you're quite okay. And if at any point in time, if you feel dizziness, or um, feeling any sharp pain anywhere, or uh, um, feeling sick by any means, please stop. And that is why it is so important to not just do this mechanically, or just for the count, the sake of the count. Do it with gratitude, with awareness. And if in, our, in your awareness, the body is struggling too much to keep up, slow down or stop. Um, I, I usually tell during sessions, and if you have not heard it, we are not trying to accomplish anything. It, there is no big uh, surprise um, at the end of 12 rounds or see this is a lifelong practice and so this is not some end of anything oh i did 12 rounds 18 rounds 24 rounds 108 rounds is not end of anything <laughs> it is uh, it's a part of well-lived life and uh, this is very this can be very much part of a well-lived life and so don't do this for uh, some sense of oh i'll get a um, i will uh, accomplish something by doing 12 24 48 or 108 yes manjit <laughs> Just to add, actually, my parents are here these days. So yes. by seeing us doing uh, regular classes, yoga classes, my mother is has started doing uh, six to seven rounds of Surya Namaskara daily morning. Excellent. Excellent. Very glad to hear. Very glad to hear. Yeah, make a, I mean, and having this as part of our life would uh, energize. And um, and I and I hope it adds to her overall satisfaction in life. Thank you. Thank you. 
so this is this is about life what we are practicing is about life not some um, short term um, game that you win <laughs> this is not about that at all cat posture come to cat posture inhaling look up exhaling look down arch your back up inhaling exhaling inhaling exhaling inhaling exhaling come to neutral posture as you inhale take a deep breath exhale right leg back bring the right leg back parallel to the ground three two one right knee down left leg back get used to engaging the big muscles in the body three two one left knee down take a deep breath exhale right leg back and bring the right leg up and look up three two one right knee down neutral posture left leg back and up look up feel a gentle back bend three two one left knee down neutral spine take a deep breath exhale right leg back as you inhale and bring the knee forward as you exhale bring the knee toward the nose and take the leg back and up as you inhale four more rounds and keep the toes off the mat Arch your back up as you bring the knee toward the nose. After completing five rounds, right knee down, neutral spine, take a deep breath, exhale. Let's repeat this five rounds on the left side. Inhaling, left leg back and up. Exhaling, knee to the nose. Do it with awareness. It's not five counts that matters. It is your experience. And being present. After completing, take a deep breath, exhale. Um, <clears throat> Plank posture, come to plank posture. Bring the shoulders right over the wrist. Get the posture right, strong posture. Shoulder blades away from each other on the back, allowing the neck and spine to go toward the ceiling. Abdomen fully engaged, legs are strong and no neck neck is neither too far down nor too far up head and spine in a straight line three two one simply drop your knees down simply drop your knees down take a deep breath exhale two more deep breaths come back to plank posture Inhaling, just the head goes up. Exhaling, look down toward your feet. No, no spine action. Hold the plank posture exactly. It is just the neck moves, the, just the head moves. Four more rounds. Inhaling, head up. Exhaling, look down. Rest of the body stays the same. Four more rounds. And as you look down, you would feel the abdomen tightening even more. After you complete, drop your knees down. 
3D breads. Come to plank posture. Inhaling center, exhaling, turn and look at the left wall. Inhale center, turn your head and look at the right wall. Inhale center, four more rounds. After completing, drop your knees down. Three deep breaths. Adho Mukeshwanasana. <coughs> First inversion of the session, feel the rush of the blood to the face. Keep your mouth closed. Allow the breath to continue. Always close, keep the mouth closed. In Hatha Yoga practice, unless you're specifically told, all breathing happens through the nose and you're always breathing, never holding the breath. Very important. Three, two, one, inhaling right foot forward. Exhaling left foot forward. Hands on your waist, inhaling, come up. Stand relaxed. Hope you have warmed up enough for 12 rounds of Surya Namaskara practice today. Three deep breaths. With gratitude in our hearts. For, for the sun, the source of all life. We come to Thadasana. Namaskar Mutra. Sun salutations are thankful offering. You can approach the entire Surya Namaskara with that attitude of offering. Thanks. And we pay full attention when we offer. We want the offering to be the purest form of offering. Without any violence or aggression. And the offering is as best as we could. That is all. That is the purest form. As best as we could. And with full attention. Inhaling backward. Exhaling forward. Back. Inhaling right foot back left, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling right foot, exhaling left foot, inhaling back, exhaling namaskara, take a deep breath, inhaling back, Exhaling forward. Inhaling left. Right. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling left. Exhaling right. Inhaling back. Exhaling Namaskar Mudra. One round. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Inhaling back. Exhaling forward. Inhaling right. Left. 
exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling right, exhaling left, inhaling, exhaling namaskar, take a deep breath, inhaling back, exhaling forward, inhaling left, right, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling left, exhaling right, inhaling back, exhaling namaskaram mudra, two rounds, take a deep breath, exhale, inhaling back, exhaling forward, inhaling right, left, exhaling, inhaling, Exhaling, inhaling right, exhaling left, inhaling back, exhaling namaskaram, take a deep breath, inhaling back, exhaling forward, inhaling left, right, exhaling, inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling left, exhaling right, inhaling back, exhaling namaskar mudra, three rounds, take three deep breaths. Continuing, inhaling back. Exhaling forward, inhaling right, left, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling right, exhaling left, inhaling, exhaling namaskar, take a deep breath, inhaling back. Exhaling forward, inhaling left, right, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling left, exhaling right, inhaling, exhaling namaskaram mudra, four rounds, take a deep breath, inhaling back. Exhaling forward, inhaling right, left, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling right, exhaling left, inhaling back, exhaling namaskara, take a deep breath, inhaling back, exhaling forward. Inhaling left, right, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling left, exhaling right, inhaling, exhaling namaskara, body rounds, take a deep breath, exhale, inhaling back, exhaling forward. Inhaling right, left, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling right, exhaling left, inhaling, exhaling namaskar, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, inhale left, Right, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhaling left, exhaling right, inhale, 
exhale, release the arms six rounds. Normal breathing. As you breathe normally, you would see the breath normalizing on its own. <clears throat> <clears throat> and thankfully, we come to Tadasana for the second set of six rounds. Namaskar. <clears throat> Inhaling back. Exhaling forward. Inhaling right. Left. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling right. Exhaling left. Inhale. Exhale. Now, Scott. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling left. Right. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhaling. Inhaling left. Exhaling right, inhaling back. Exhaling Namaskara Mudra. Take a deep breath, exhale, so seventh round. Inhaling back, exhaling forward. Inhaling right, left. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale back. Exhale Namaskara. Take a deep breath. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale left. Right. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale back. Exhale Namaskara Mudra. Take a deep breath, exhale. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale right. Left. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale. Exhale, Namaskara. Take a deep breath. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale left. Right. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale. Exhale, Namaskar Mudra. Three deep breaths. Inhaling back. Exhaling forward. Inhaling right, left. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhaling. Inhaling right. Left, exhale, inhaling back, exhaling, Namaskara. Take a deep breath, inhaling back, exhaling forward, inhaling left, right, exhale, 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling left. Exhaling right. Inhale. Exhale. Namaskara. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Inhaling back. Exhaling forward. Inhaling right. Left. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling right. Exhaling left. Inhaling. Exhaling. Now it's got to take a deep breath. Inhaling back. Exhaling forward. Inhaling left. Right. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling left. Exhaling namaskar. Inhaling back. Exhaling namaskar. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Inhaling back. Exhaling forward. Inhaling right. Left. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling right. Exhaling left. Inhaling. Exhaling. Namaskara. Take a deep breath. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling left. Exhaling right. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling left. Exhaling right. Inhaling back. Exhaling namaskara. Release the arms. Stand relaxed. Twelve rounds of offering thankful offering to the sun, the source of all life. Sukhasana. Eyes softly closed. Observe. The energetic movements in the body. The breath, the emotional state. Whatever that may be. True freedom comes from the attitude of observing whatever is, seeing it clearly, and not resisting whatever that is right now. Whatever that may be in your experience. Not attaching to, not running toward any experience, not running away from anything. Whatever is, is anyway.
3D print. Janu Sarasasana practice. Come to Dandasana. Legs. In fact, let's spend some time in just in Dandasana. Legs together. Spine as comfortably straight. Your fingertips are by the sides of your seat bones on the mat. Consciously tighten the legs and sit taller. It might not be natural, especially if you have hamstring restrictions like me. Strong legs, sitting tall, shoulders relaxed. Five. You're not resting your palms on the mat. Fingertips are just there. You're sitting taller with your abdomen muscles working, quad muscles working. Two. One. Relax. Sitting with the spine straight in Dandasana itself can be a practice, a posture that you can practice. I would not, or it is not um, something that I would take for granted. Proper Dandasana with legs together, strong quad muscles, toes flexed and sitting straight, standing or sitting as tall as you can. Let's practice again. Come to Dandasana. Strong legs and sitting as tall as you can. Shoulders relaxed. Three, two, one, relax. Take a deep breath. Dandasana. Bend your right knee and right sole of your right foot placed against the inner left thigh. The right heel to the root of the left thigh on the side. The right leg is comfortably placed on the mat. Now, Action is more on the left leg. Left leg strong. Flex your left toes. Left kneecap pulled up. Use your left quad muscles to strengthen your left leg strongly pressing down to the mat, sitting taller. Sitting taller, left leg pressing down on the mat. Keep the left leg always stronger, arms up, palms facing the front. Inhale, growing taller. Exhaling, bending from the hips. Bend forward as much as you can and grab hold of the left knee or shin or foot. Look to the front or flatten your back. Look to the front, flatten your back. Allow the elbows to relax toward the side, allowing more room for the chest to move forward. Inhaling. Exhaling, abdomen completely tightening up, allowing the chest to move toward the toes. And then relax the head down, keeping the left leg always strong. Five deep breaths. Janu Four. Three. Two. One. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, release, release the right leg, relax. Dandasana.
let's practice on the other side. Left knee bent, left heel to the root of the right thigh. And strong right leg. Right toes flex. To engage the right quad muscles, arms up. Growing tall and inhaling. Exhaling, bending from the hips as much as you can. Grab hold of the knee, shin or foot. Look to the front and inhaling, arch your back. As in, flatten your back. Your chest is moving forward and flattening the back. Allow the elbows to relax to the side, allowing more room for the chest. Inhale, exhaling, abdomen tightening along with the quad, allowing the chest to move toward the toes and then head down. Five deep breaths, five. Four, three, two, one. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, release. Release the left leg. Shake your legs. Relax. Let's approach Triang Mukhai Kapada Pashimottanasana. This requires some amount of knee flexibility. Let's start with Vajrasana. Come to Vajrasana. And sit, keeping the knees and feet the way they are. Move your seat bone toward the right side and sit on the mat the right side of your legs as much as you can. You're leaving the legs the way they are. You're just moving the seat bones out and sitting on the mat. You might feel restrictions as much as you can. Take the hand support if you need. Go back to Vajrasana. And sit on the other side. Again, this requires knee flexibility. Don't force anything as much as you can. Vajrasana. Release the legs, shake your legs. By the way, when you are sitting outside, that is preparation for us on the way to Bharadvajasana. We might have practiced this earlier, <clears throat> but here we are more Approaching Triang Triang Mukha Ekapata Pashimotanasana Dandasana. Now bend your right knee and right toes, bring the right toes to point toward the back wall, bringing the lower leg toward you, but the right toes are pointing to the back wall. And you are sitting with the left leg straightened up. The left leg is straightening up. Do as much as you can. If you're not, it's okay, Purnima. So just bend the knee. That's okay. Keep the right, keep the right knee bent, and see as much as you can. Taking the right foot toward the back is fine. If you're not able to, um, with both seat bones on the mat. Those who are able to have the knee flexibility, both seat bones are on the mat. Right toes are pointing to the back wall. Right heel is by the side of the seat bone. As much as you can, arms up. Left leg strong, just as in um, Janu. Inhale, exhaling, bending forward. Grab the knee, shin, or even two degrees is okay, bending forward just as it. If you catch the knee of the left knee, left chin or left foot, that's okay. Look to the front, flatten your back. Inhale, exhaling, chest moving toward the left toes. No aggression, head down. Five, 
Actually, keep the head up. Triang Mukai Kapada. Head up, abdomen engaged. Those who can engage Mula Bandha, Uddhyana Bandha. And drop the head with a flattened back. Head, chin going to the chest with a flattened back. Three, two, one. Inhaling arms up. Exhaling, release. Release the right leg, shake your legs. Take a deep breath, exhale. Let's approach it from the other side. Dandasana. Left knee bent, left toes pointing to the back, left heel by the side of your left seat bone as much as you can. Even if you are simply able to bend the knee and even if the left seat bone is not on the ground, that's okay. Those who can, strong right leg, arms up. Inhale, growing taller, exhaling, bending forward, catch the right knee, shin or foot. Flatten the back, look up. Inhale, exhaling, chest moving toward the toes. Keep the back straight and then drop your head down. Those who have practiced Mula Bandha, Uddhyana Bandha and Chalandra Bandha. Three. Two, one, inhaling arms up, exhaling, release, release the left, shake your legs. Um, I think by giving you instructions for Bandhas. I have mixed Mahamudra and Trianga Mukai Kapada. I apologize. We will practice. We will get more chance to practice this again in later sessions. Lie down on your back. Hug your knees, rock back and forth. Side to side. Settle back down, release the legs. Shavasana. Letting go of your body completely. Relaxing from head to toe. Observing the abdomen rising and falling with each breath. As you inhale, the abdomen gently moves up. And as you exhale, abdomen gently falls back down. Shanti, Shanti. 
Gently, to Mudra Shavasana. Taking your hands back. Inhale, growing taller. Exhaling, bending forward, thanking Mother Earth. Inhaling, coming up. Rub your palms vigorously, generating heat. Massage your closed eyes. Gently blink your eyes open. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great evening ahead. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Any questions? I will. Stay.